Good morning guys, welcome to another video. Regular viewers will probably recognise this stretch. It's the, uh, the private bit of my neighbours that I have access to down on the River Avon. Thought I'd come out this morning just for a couple of hours after the school run between the school run and it raining. It's due to rain about lunchtime. And have a little bit of a go down here on the Waggler. I've got down here to see uh, someone's done a bit of clearing out or rather a lot of clearing out. Um, so I've just taken advantage of their hard work. I'm just going to sit myself down here. Um, so I just run a waggler through the middle. It's very simple today. I've got a little bit of um, Census 3000 gross guard on ground bait. And I've got some maggots and a few slices of bread as well. Just going to keep it very simple. I've got perhaps three hours tops this morning. Brought the dog with me as well, as you can see, waddling about in the mud. So gear I've got with me is my Cadence CR10 14 foot match number two. Abu 506 Mark II close face reel. And we'll have a Drake waggler on as well. Stick all the information down there so you can go and have a look at your leisure. Anyway, as I say, we've only got two or three hours till it starts raining, so let's crack on, shall we? So, guys, the plan is I'm going to ping out maggots. I'll put a little bit of ground bait in. We're just going to keep these maggots going. I've got about a pint of maggots here. As I say, we're not here for that long. I'm sure it'll be enough. Supplemented with some ground bait. I'm not sure any of the maggots are going to get to the bottom. We might get bleaked out, but who knows? We'll find out in due course. We're going to size 18. I'll get cracking. Looking forward to this. As I say, I've not been down here this season. It's all sorts of everything in this stretch. It's um, got pretty much everything we could catch. Well, I can't actually think of a species that wouldn't be in here. Core species, to be honest. It's, uh, it's a cracking, cracking bit of water. It's prompted me to come today as well. As so you can see from the river, it's not a breath of wind. And it's overcast-ish. <laughs> As I say, with some rain moving in. So, we'll set it about 12 foot-ish. Something like that. Which is going to be somewhere near the bottom. Obviously, if we're dragging under, we can shallow it. Or we can go a bit deeper. Or we'll struggle to fish much deeper on a 14 foot rod. I so, say, looking forward to this. I've been down here for, well, since last year. I think last year I only came down here once. I've got a high bank behind me, so it's going to be a bit tricky casting, I think. Just be a bit careful with the foliage and the dog. There we go. Right, see what happens. I've got to sort of bulk down on the float because I think we might have lots of Sort of bleak issues, perhaps. It's not settled already, so I think something's grabbed up already. <laughs> we'll keep pinging these in. If we need to, we can fish shallow. Right, looks like that's possibly dragging under, or we're getting some bites. I think, by the way, the float's waggling. We're just dragging under, I think. Well, that's good. It means I can shallow up a bit. <laughs> Make casting a bit easier. Light to catch. Some roach today, that's that'd be nice. Nice net of roach. But you know, it's a river and they're different every year, so who knows? Can take a few minutes to get the bites coming. That's running through nicely now. Right. At the bottom, is that a bite? don't normally fish from this position, so it's a bit, a bit new to me. I normally fish a little bit further down, but it's very overgrown, and rather than clear that, I've, I've come to this spot that's already been cleared. All right, I think we're getting bites already. Yeah, that's a bite. Just a bit further downstream, but what's this? Hopefully a nice roach. It is cracking. Fantastic. Well, this is what I was hoping for. Nice net of those would be good. I say net, I haven't got to keep net. Back you go. Fantastic. Can even reuse the maggots. Wonderful. Yeah, that was just a little bit further downstream, so perhaps that's where the, the ground bait has sunk to. So I, I threw it in at sort of 12 o'clock. 
So I guess it's, by the time it's sunk, it's just a little bit further downstream. We'll keep this feed going in. If there's one of them here, there's plenty of them. That's for sure. We might even be able to do some fishing shallow. I'm not casting out particularly far for the reason of these boats. There's one coming now. It is the summer. There's going to be loads of them, I would imagine. I'm going just out in the main channel, but just this side of it. And that's running through there at that depth. There we go, that's a bite. There we go. Oh, this feels better fish. I was putting a bend in the rod already. Second fish in. What's this? Oh, whenever it snagged me up. Oh, that's a much better, much better roach. Oh, it's a little chub. <laughs> Fab. <laughs> Wonderful. Two fish, two species. That's cracking. <laughs> Well, this is great. Oh, Tess, you're filthy. I'm going to be in big trouble when I get home. <laughs> yeah, as I say, we might be able to fish shallow if these fish start to come up and intercept these maggots. But we'll see how it is fishing sort of somewhere near the bottom first off. <laughs> Missed that one. There's a bit of water on here as well at the moment, so it's, it's just going through nicely. Oh, that was a bite. There we go. Yes, yeah, just going through nicely at the moment. Nice bit of, nice bit of flow. Oh, another nice roach. Well, this is cracking. Absolutely wonderful. Right. Look, that's such a nice fish. I think I need to get my, uh, get my landing net to hand. Oh, float's gone. <laughs> well, it's a bite of chuck already. And a nice fish as well. We're not getting bleaked out. God, there's a shoulder roach down there, isn't there? Beautiful. Cracking, cracking roach. Well, what an absolutely fantastic bit of fishing. <laughs> Dropped on here. Blimey. I should have bought a keep there. <laughs> absolutely going to bag up. They're nice fish as well. Really nice fish. This is cracking. I think perhaps we'll, we'll have a couple of hours at it today. Have this as a bit of a, bit of a taster session, a bit of a feeler session. And then perhaps we'll come again, bring the keep net, and then we can have a look exactly how much we catch. Because from the looks of it, we're going to have a nice bag of fish. Okay, so I've only got a couple of hours today due to weather and work. Two W's. <laughs> What's that one? Oh, pay attention. <laughs> I think these maggots are starting to get grabbed on the way down. Yeah, they are. This feels a bit better again. Pulling back. Jag, jag, jag. I wonder if it's a perch. I need the net for this. <clears throat> Whatever it is. Is it a nice roach? God, I think it's a nice roach. Is it? I think it is. Or is it a skimmer? I don't catch too many skimmers down here. I think it's a skimmer. Oh, it's hybrid. No wonder it's fighting. <laughs> yep, a bit of roach in there. 
a bit more bream like but there's a bit of roach in there <laughs> careful <laughs> yep definitely a hybrid very slimy there's a bit of roach in there for sure but uh there's plenty of bream in there as well you know what i didn't realize until i did a bit of research is um because we get a lot of hybrids in the canals around here I do a bit of research because I know hybrid, hybrids of lots of species are sterile. But apparently not so the roach bream hybrid. They can breed. So you can have a roach bream hybrid breeding with a roach and obviously it comes out a little bit more roachy <laughs> or cross breeding with a bream and it will come out a bit more breamy. So that's why you get such a, such a multitude of, of, uh, of fish between the pure roach and the pure bream. There's lots of different sort of some of them look really like bream but there's definitely a bit of roach in there and vice versa it's quite interesting mm, a bit of a breeze picked up upstream breeze which is uh it's not the worst but i'd prefer not to have a breeze well it came out <laughs> god it's one of the day what's this another species it's a dace <laughs> fantastic so it's that four species now. This is wonderful. Chub, hybrid, roach, and now dace. Well, you can probably tell. I'm absolutely loving this. This is brilliant. It's going under every time I cast out. I'm getting to use up some old maggots, which I've had for literally cool, two months. I find that if you keep them just above freezing, I've got a bait fridge, fortunately, I crank it down so it's really cold. It's just above freezing. At one or two degrees and they keep really well i do slowly slowly shrink they're not big juicy fat maggots but they're certainly very very usable i save i having to run to the tackle shop every five minutes to buy some maggots and even the disturbance of the dog ripping the place to bits He's not bothering the fish. Ah. I'm to almost do a sort of fly fishing back cast. <laughs> not like I can fly fish particularly, but more of a sweeping, keeping the keeping the line up in the air. <laughs> so it's off the ground. Yeah, there's a little bit of a breeze just sprung up. Oh, come on. <laughs> Shot and <laughs> Oh, there we go. Blimey. This is a point of pen in this rod. What's this? Funny fight as well. I don't know what this is. Usually when you get a bend in the rod here, it's a perch. And this doesn't particularly feel like a perch. It's headed off downstream. Perhaps it's a bream or something. <laughs> Stand up and see if we can steer it out of the lilies, which it's desperate to get into. What is it? That's a nice chub. Wow, I'm amazed. I don't know when we catch many nice chub down here. Oh, that's a nice one. Well, that is cracking. That was a surprise. Didn't feel particularly chubby. Not a monster, but I'm waggling here. That is epic. Should have known really, shouldn't I, when it was trying to get in the edge. <laughs> As about that. <laughs> Cracking. Well, 
This is uh, this is brilliant. Absolutely loving this. You want those maggots as well? There we go. Right. How brilliant is this? This is beyond my expectations, to be honest. I thought we'd catch a few, a few roach. Get him, get his, his breath back. Sort it, chap. Doesn't want to leave me now. <laughs> go on, back you go. Aside from sort of after dark, if you like, when I fished here several years ago, that's about the first chub I've ever caught down here, apart from little chublets. That's why I really didn't cotton on to what it was, particularly quickly. It's not the chubbiest of areas though, this. It's quite, well, you can see it's quite open and not much cover. <laughs> Try and cast without hooking the dog. <laughs> well, I'm having an absolute whale of a time. Just bite after bite after bite. Cracky. Now often, when I come down here, if you watch the channel, I'll often uh, bring a sleeper predator rod down here while I'm doing this. However, obviously, with it being high summer, I'm going to leave the predators be at the moment. So I'm sure we'll catch some pike, and I know I was reading an article about how they don't do very well. If you... Uh, catch them in the summer when the water's not particularly warm actually I'll do the temperature out of interest but it's not particularly warm at the moment but still we'll leave them in peace for today certainly going to come back perhaps do some zander fishing at some point at the moment I'm just on double maggot just so you know I'm not, I'm not fishing anything complicated at all I've got a specialist wide gate size 18. Double red at the moment. I've had red and white on as well. It's been pretty much the same. God, this wind's come out of nowhere. I came down here because it wasn't going to be windy. Because <laughs> obviously fishing the waggler across like this, if you've got any breeze, it makes it a bit tricky. At the moment, the upstream breeze is banging my line in a big arc upstream, which is not the worst. It's about the best, really. But it was better when there was no wind. I have to say. Because I'm fishing fairly sensitively, although I've got quite a big waggler on. It's fairly sensitive setup, so I can't really mend the line very well against the float. Like bringing it in and now it's stalling. Yeah, this made things a bit awkward. That's about where I start to get bites. Which is probably where I should put the float in, really. You're going to have to pick up the big bow line as well. I'm striking. Right, let's cast this in a bit further downstream. Let's try starting down there. Blimey, I'm getting battered on the drop. Yeah, we're getting battered on the drop at the moment. When I cast it down there, so I do really need to cast it sort of pretty much in front of me. Let it get through. There's a dace look. He's, he's the one who's grabbed it on the drop. Well, it is literally a bite of chuck. And you just don't know what you're going to get a bite off. Nice roach. A chub. <laughs> Hybrid. <laughs> Fantastic. So guys, I hope you're all having a good season. I know lots of uh, other YouTube channels say, stick me a comment below. 
but uh, as you'll see, my comments are off. So I just do not have time to have a look at them all. And it seems very rude not to. But if you do want to message me, there's all the usual places, Instagram, Facebook, you can email me as well. And I would always answer. Might not necessarily be the answer you want if you ask me where I've been fishing. <laughs> because I deliberately don't put venues in. Just out of courtesy to the people who fish there already. A little chublet. Well, the chub are in town today. Well, looks like the rain started a bit early. And I don't have a coat with me. But I am about five minutes walk from home, so if we do get wet, we can soon get home. <laughs> well, I just had a bit of a cast closer in while these boats are going past. I've had another, another roach. Nope, Dace. Roach. <laughs> Yeah, as suspected, very busy with boats today. The tiller fiddlers are out in force. I think we're just dragging bottom, you know. Let's uh, shallow up a bit. Doesn't seem today like we're having to fish nail to the bottom either. Fish it are coming up a bit for these maggots. Could be all sorts of stuff down there. On the bottom, maybe uh, branches and stuff. Could be anything down there. Just that one place keeps dragging under. But it's not like we're, we're trying to maximise our catch. Just have to a nice day's fishing. Do me. We've already had it, to be honest. Well, day. A <laughs> couple of hours. <laughs> it's just a perfect day for it today. So I've got to get over there. I have to come down in the same place again. I've missed it, but that was a bite. That was definitely a bite. If we keep catching dace, these little dace, I think I'll um, change the shotting pattern a bit, get the bait down a bit quicker. We sort of we've got all the shot in the bottom third at the moment, just slowly tapering down in size. But it does seem that these fish are nailing it all the way down at the moment. They come up in the water. And much they don't mind catching dace. These ones are not particularly big. Certainly show them in there now. <laughs> and another one. But that was definitely on the bottom. So it must be right down near the bottom. I do love fishing with maggots, so everything loves a maggot, doesn't it? Yeah, as you can see, the shotting pattern, I've got A, A, B, 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 number one, number four. So we're just tapered in the bottom, certainly third, perhaps quarter. The float is loaded. So most of the weight is in the float, which is great. You don't have to put too much, too much shot down the line. Okay, that's gone in a bit. Nearly. Come on, let's have some apart from a dace. There's clearly a big shoulder of dace down there at the moment. <laughs> nice to see him actually. Not typical dace water, is it? It's, uh, it's quite slow. Quite deep. More expect to catch dace below the weir. I don't really mind. It's quite to get some bites. We're getting some bites. I did think the majority would be roach, but they're not at all. So not at the moment. Getting lots of days at the moment. So guys, we are catching loads and loads of days at the moment. 
And I've cut them all runs through, but on single rather than double maggot. Not that I'll probably make much difference to the dace fishing. And then I think I'm going to have a change over and put some bread on. It's just dace, dace, dace. I've probably had probably 20 dace on the trot now. With no other species. It's clearly a big shoulder dace down there. Oh, I'm not complaining. I'm getting plenty of bites, but it'd be nice to, to mix it up a bit. <laughs> a few different species as we were. I think the dates are just beating them to it at the moment. I'm just wondering if a bit of bread flake run down might perhaps pick us out a nice roach or chub or something. Let's try a bit of bread. Just a tiny little bit of bread flake. We could try punch if you fancied it. Let's just see if we get a reaction on a bit of flake first, see what happens. So we'll have a fish bread flake down here before. There you go, that's right down the sweat. And we've had a bite and we've hooked up. I don't know what it is. Some relatively decent fish. Should put us in the lilies. Well, it's a, it's a roach. And we've connected with the roach again. As soon as we put the bread on, got back in touch with the roach, but that was a lot further down the swim. Mm, interesting. Well, certainly getting bites on bread down there. Grab that on the way down. What's this? It'll be the first bleak of the day. <laughs> Little chublet. <laughs> I think perhaps if we fish shallow, we'll uh, we'll catch some some of these. That would be my guess. <clears throat> you certainly grab that on the way down. I think they're probably swimming about, about two foot under the surface, intercepting all these maggots. <laughs> but I'm not convinced there'll be any bigger ones there, else I might have a go. They're not too shallow, because I've not seen any disturbance on the surface. So they're clearly not that shallow. I'm not taking them right off the top, or near, near the top. Just only go back on maggots. I had to go on bread for 10 minutes. I had a roach and a few bites. See, that's gone under. Oh, that's, this is not a day. It's a good one if it is. <laughs> Another little chub. We had a gang of chub moved in. No, it's a roach. Well, oh, that's, that's nice. That's probably the biggest roach of the day so far as well. That's cracking. What a lovely fish that is. Absolutely cracking. Perhaps the, uh, the days have cleared off. Who knows? Well, the roads are back. Hurrah. Only a little one, but uh, God, that phase where we just caught days after days. It's probably 25 days in a row. Crazy amount. <laughs> Cheeky little dice. Right, I'm going to go back on bread. I thought perhaps we'd... Uh, We've got away from them, the days. But they're back in force. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? First bite I've had for a while. I've been on bread. I'm not really getting many bites at all. 
we've uh, had a bite now. Is this a nice roach, is it? That's not a bad one. Slip my net under him. He's no monster, but I'll slip my net under him. Crack it. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been very quiet on the old bread. Like perhaps five or ten minutes without a bite. And then we've had a bite off that. <laughs> Cracking. Blimey. Yeah, right, little fatty. He certainly wanted that bit of bread. I'm not going to give it too much longer now. We've been here just two hours. Back it so we'll give it another 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll call it a day. We'll just finish off on bread, I think. We're getting absolutely diced out on uh, on maggots. I'm catching a dace about every 30 seconds on maggots. But it was just dace. So I've never known up here before, but, you know, it's a river and <laughs> every year it's different. But, uh, yeah, lots of chub and dace here, which is relatively unusual. I say it's usually roach and sort of bream if you go on the feeder. Yeah. Certainly at the moment, very dacey, very chubby. I had lots of chublets and ridiculous amount of dace. I'm getting a few bites of bread now. Certainly slowed the bites up the quantity of bites that I'm getting going on bread but I think mainly because the dace seem to be ignoring it there seems to be a huge shoulder of dace down there at the moment I say we'll give it five or ten minutes Let's see if we can pick up a bonus fish or two I'm definitely going to come back it's been cracking perhaps come back and have a session into dark as well fish into dusk perhaps fish the waggler and then switch over to the feeder as it gets dark or the ledger see if we can pick up some nice who knows bring hybrids roach chub I certainly think as roach is sitting further down no bites at all through here at the moment on bread. If it runs right through, we're catching roach. They do seem to be sitting further down there. There's a nice roach. <laughs> as soon as you touch them, they go absolutely nuts. <laughs> right, five minutes and then I'm off. What's this? Do I need to ask? A day so I'd imagine. <laughs> it's not, it's a roach. <laughs> I think that's a good way to end. We've uh, we've had stacks and stacks of, of these fellas. We've had stacks of dace as well. It was a lovely mixed session at the beginning. We had um, a hybrid, catching roach, dace, uh, chub. We had that lovely chub as well. Some Plenty of chublets. But uh, this sort of second hour, if you like, we've been here just over two hours. The second hour got very, very dacey. <laughs> I went over onto bread, picking up the odd bigger roach, but not many. Um, and I just thought I'd finish off just on maggot there and uh, we've had a few more dace and, and that little roach. But that's been fantastic. Little uh, little session down here to just see how this place is fishing this year really really enjoyed that with that absolutely cracky time it's been as i say just over two hours and of course stacks of fish it's been wonderful lovely stretch and the, the weather was perfect for it today with that hardly a breath of wind so that's 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 been cracking i've really enjoyed that now i'm going to be out again later on in the week uh, back down on the y do hopefully a bit of trotting it's quite high at the moment or relatively high for for what i want to do so uh, maybe that we need to go on the ledger we'll just have to see but for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that half as much as I did. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling when you get out there. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support. And I'll see you all again very soon.